Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. Coogan Cassius here with Ricky Hatton, MTK Global, IFL TV. Um, yeah, this Saturday, Anthony Joshua makes a mandatory defence of his world, title, world titles against Kubrat Pulev. Um, he won't be overlooking Kubrat Pulev, will he, Ricky? No, I don't think he can. I think um, he doesn't need me to, to tell AJ, you know, I mean, what, what happened with the Ruiz fights. That's what, you know, I'm not saying he took his eye off the ball, but just that's so easy, especially in the heavyweight division where, you know, you can be going that way and then things can go can go wrong. But um, he's learnt from the uh, from the Ruiz fight. I think Pulev is a good opponent. I think he'll take him very, very seriously. <clears throat> but I think it's a fight that I think AJ can really, really shine in. Style-wise, you know, Pulev likes to to box a little bit on the outside. He doesn't like to get involved. He, you know, he marches in and throws a you know pretty decent jab as he as he come marches in. But um, I think AJ, you know, when you look what he's got fantastic boxing skills. Even though you know his size and power and his ex explosiveness, but he's you know from that long range, medium range, you know, which is where Pulev likes to fight. He's fighting somebody that beats him in every every department. You know, from that range and that area. Um, I think for AJ, you need you, to beat him. You probably need to put the pressure on him. Loads of shots, hand speed, and I don't think Pule ever's got the style to do what he, what you need in order to beat AJ. AJ. So I think it's a, I think it is a, a fight. He's got to take serious, but I think it's one that I think he'll shine in. Yeah. There was all the talk of Deontay Wilder before the Ruiz fight. I'm not saying it was it was already be, would have been a distraction, but I'm not saying he took his eye off the ball because of that reason. But there's so much talk to Anthony Joshua about that Tyson Fury fight. And it must be kind of playing on his mind that there is a lot of pressure kind of to, to get the job done. Otherwise, that fight is not really there for next year with Tyson well, Fury. You know, this game that we're in doesn't need me to tell Anthony, you know, every, every fight's your shot window, isn't it? You know what I mean? And, you know, I think Tyson couldn't have looked any better than what he did when he, when he, he fought Wilder with a, with a second fight. And, you know, AJ put on a great performance when he, when he won the belts back against uh, Ruiz, didn't he? You know, boxed a very sensible and cautious fight. But I think, in no disrespect intended, I don't think it set anyone's pulses racing with excitement, did it? Where um, I think this is a chance for him to really, really shine and really put on a, a, a good explosive performance, to be honest with you. And then it keeps the... Uh, I mean, the interest is always going to be there because obviously, you know, AJ's got all the belts and Tyson's universally recognised, you know, as, you know, as, 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 as the, the main man because he's, un, he's undefeated and, and, and whatnot. But, um, no, I just think style-wise, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fight where Anthony's got to be cautious, but I think style-wise, I think it's, he's perfect for him. He's made for him to, to box him, use his skills, soak him up, break him down a little bit and then put the finishing touches to it. I, I can't see it going past more than six. I think AJ is going to look a million dollars on Saturday. Um, Tyson Fury put a video out last night saying he won't be attending this fight between uh, Joshua and, and Kubrat Prulev. Do you blame him, really, for not coming? Um... You know, you know, you know, Tyson's his Tyson's his own man. You know, we do, you know, exactly what he what he what he wants. To be honest with you, he's, uh, I, you know, if you're listening to Tyson, he's a little bit frustrated that this that the fight is taking so long to be made. But I mean, there's in 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 any mega fight, you know, like AJ Tyson Fury or Hatton Mayweather or De La Hoya Pacquiao or, or all of them, they're not done overnight. You know, you've got to be patient. I mean, before we put pen to paper to the Mayweather fight. The negotiations were took months and months and months, so and, and it's got to be the right move for everyone, you know, when when they do finally do it. But um, but no, I think you know, you, you, everything anything Tyson says, you got to just take it with a pinch of salt. I think yeah, I won't worry too much about it. A <laughs> um, couple of weeks ago now, but I wanted to just ask your opinion on uh, uh, Dubois' fight with Joe Joyce. Fantastic win for Joe Joyce. But what was your kind of take on the? whole situation a lot of people had a lot to say after the fight about that fight I don't know I believe his, his eye socket was shattered 
you know, since since the fight. But I mean, at the time, I mean, I, I mean, I and I did, I did say, I did say, I thought, you know, he, you know, he, he, he took the town in a little bit too easy. That's the way the way it seemed because I mean, there's been you know fights in, in year in years gone by where the, the warning signs of you know the stress signals have been there a couple of rounds early. Do you know what I mean? You know, Kel Brook, Golovkin, um, General McClellan, Nigel Ben. Um, I think you know Chris Eubank and Kyle Thompson. You know, remember when Chris Eubank had his, his eye? His eye was practically closed, and he went through the pain barrier. And when I boxed in Detroit, there was a fight called Gilbert Kiros where uh, my eyes shut after the first round, and they gave me one more round. And every time he hit me on it, the pain was so excruciating, I couldn't even describe it to you. But sometimes when you're in the pain game, you've got to go through that. And I think you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think he went. You know, if he's, you know, I mean, I'm probably, being, but if his, if his, if his eye socket was shattered, you know, yeah, I, I, I get the, I get the point. You know, and he was, he was probably right to, to do so. But at the, at the time when he just got that jab on his bruised eye, which you know, I thought, if that's just a bruised eye, then that's, that's not a good sign. But uh, if his eye socket's been shattered, you know, I mean, no one knows the, what was, the pain Daniel was going through at, at set Daniel. So. Um, I think the fact that the the, med, the the X-ray has come in and that his eye socket was shattered, I think we you know, I think we've got to we've got to apologise, you know, to to a degree. But I mean, sometimes you've got to go through the the pain. By how many fights have we seen where people's eyes have been shut and and they've they've they've, they've gone they've gone through it? But um, Ricky, what if that meant? You're saying go through the pain barrier. What if that meant kind of potentially you're you're blinded, you're, you're blinded or your Absolutely. career coming to an end? Listen, the boxer's um, boxer's health is the is the main thing, and uh, most certainly if your eyesight is in in, in jeopardy. Um, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to. Difficult. It's difficult. It's a it's a, it's a tough one because you don't want to knock Daniel because his eye socket's been shattered and everything like that. So, so I, I get it. But I mean, in the heat of the action, you know, any fighter goes in there with the opinion you've got to carry me out. You know, you can carry me out in a box here. I don't care. I'm going to go through everything, and from and that's I think why most fighters are a little bit, you know you know, a little bit suspect of what actually what actually went on. But top and bottom of it is, you know, I've, I thought that at the time, but since I found out his eyes shattered, you know, apologies to, 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 to Daniel. But Daniel knows, he, he, he must have half expected that's what people were going to, you know, you know, suspect. But, I mean, proof's in the pudding, his eye socket was shattered, you know, so um, he, he made the right decision for his health and his eyesight, yeah. But, um take nothing away from a great win for Joe Joyce no he, he boxed very boxed a very clever fight you know um, you know he just pumped to that first I thought he wasn't putting enough power in the jab you know what I mean I thought he was just but he threw that many many jabs ultimately that's what caused the damage to um, to Daniel's to Daniel's eye so uh, you know and he, he weathered the storm early when Daniel put it on him and then he you know you know, when he got to like midway through the fight, then he started to put his foot down and crawl the rounds back. I think the fight was in the balance. I think he had, I think he had Daniel just ahead, and that's why I'm thinking to myself if he maybe bit him down on his gum shield and fiddled and fighted around to the final bell because there was only three rounds to go, and he might he might have won a points decision. But you know, um, but the credit to, to Joyce, I mean, the game plan. I thought he left his game might have left his game plan a bit late. Do you know what I mean? Because I did have Daniel, you know, a, a couple of rounds in, in front. But ultimately, in the end, the game plan did work. And now he goes on to bigger and better things. And he's he's a great he's a great lad, Joe. I mean, he did as proud in the Olympics in his amateurs, and he's doing as all proud now in the pros. And I hope he gets his I hope he gets his uh, hope he gets his shot. Ricky Hatton, thank you very much for talking to Pleasure, IFL mate. TV. Um, yeah, um, look forward to this week and obviously the start of your boy Campbell's journey. Yeah, exciting times, you know, hopefully in the new year. It's been a bad year for for everyone, whether it be football, boxing, but, you know, fantastic to what, you know, Match Room has, you know, has done to put these um, these, these shows on in these difficult times. Great fight for us on Saturday. It's Campbell's turn in professional. And hopefully in the new year, we can get the main heavyweight fight on where Tyson and Joshua, and then what a, what a night for British boxing that would be. Indeed. Ricky Hatton, thank you very much. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation, and it's special. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. 
And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.